Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome to the fourth video for Inktober. And this covers day 13 out of day 16. Right now, we'll be working on day 13, where I just drew a thing. I really wasn't into drawing that day, I don't know why. The pose was pretty good in my head, but when I started translating it onto paper, I just sort of lost steam just at the sketching phase and when I lined it, it's just like just to get it over with so I could say that the proportions are off the hand and the head are a bit too big compared to everything else and where they should be placed in terms of perspective it's a tad too big the background, I did put a little bit of effort into the background but it's just a bunch of really sharp silhouettes of buildings but yeah, please forgive me I really don't- I really didn't know why I wasn't in the mood. I guess just those days happen. So I'm using the Derwent ink pens as usual just to fill in the background since it's a lot easier to spread well I didn't I don't really have anything liquid to use to spread but it's a lot easier to spread the pigment evenly when I use the Derwent ink pens pencils against when I use my Faber Castle Pit Artist pens. So I use the Pit Artist pens when I'm only covering really or rather small areas and I use the Derwent ink pens pencils when I want to cover larger areas and that needs a little bit more even strokes to them because with this paper that's just kind of regular paper the um, paper castel pit artist pen soak in really quickly it becomes really hard to blend them in and it becomes a bit streaky that's why i only use them where the streakiness won't be as much um they're not as visible but if i do it in a large background it'll definitely be very visible Stick around for day 14 in a few seconds. Hey guys, welcome back. It's day 14. And yeah, I used to reference today. It's a book called Shrines of Tower. And I just want to I just wanted to sort of redeem myself from yesterday where I was completely not in the mood and it turned out kinda shitty. So I wanted to draw something a bit more complicated, something that would take a lot of time. And I had suddenly I had the inspiration to draw something somewhat detailed or more detailed than I would usually draw. And I wanted to draw um, well the line of thought was that I felt that maybe I started to get tired of drawing people or characters. So I drew um, a background or an architectural thing instead. And I was just lucky that I so happened to have a book. It's not exactly mine, it's my uncle's, but he just kind of left it here and he's not in the country anymore. So it kind of just fell into my hands. So I was lucky enough that I had this book around and it has tons of stuff I could kind of reference off. I didn't really completely copy everything. Number one, I'm kind of still a bit lazy, but um, it gave me enough inspiration to kind of play around with stuff. I really didn't use a ruler because I wanted it to feel a bit more organic. But yeah, I had a lot of fun today. I don't know what happened yesterday, but I really, I'm really proud of how this turned out, given that I'm not really experienced with drawing complicated architectural stuff. So yeah. Stick around for day 15. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome to day 15. As you have noticed, I have not been following the themes at all since the last video. And this one was, well, it's my character. It's my original character, but my friend wanted me to draw him, so I obliged. And I have, I have been meaning to draw him a bit more since I've only drawn him, I've only drawn him like really 
seriously officially twice. So I felt like more pictures that really illustrate his character or, or his looks could really benefit me as well. Also today, I didn't start with my normal colored pencil because it was a pretty simple piece and I didn't really need an easily erasable pencil sketch. So I had to play on with a bit of perspective in the sense that his chin tilted a bit up. So that actually gave me a bit of tough time. It was a fun challenge though. Though this was a pretty chill piece, I didn't really put too much um, effort into it, or it, it has more effort than day 13, but I didn't really go completely all out on it. I'm using the Fever Castle Pit Artist Pens. Oh no, hiccups. Ah, uh, jeez. Ah, <sighs> why right now? Why right now? I'm recording. <sighs> anyway. Yeah, I'm just using it to add a bit of depth into things, like on the trees and the clouds and the sea behind him. Later on, I'll be using um, a 6B pencil to create shading, just because I miss using lead pencils to shade in. I had an entire class in college for one semester that we just used purely pencil to make realistic works, which is a fine arts thing. But I really missed it. I haven't touched those pencils in a two years, a year maybe, a year and a half-ish, around that, around that span of time. Again, please stick around for day 16, which will be the last segment, and yeah. Okay, welcome back, it's day 16, thanks for staying, that's the last segment, so stay strong. Um, this piece is very much inspired by ice skating and dancing. And just a play on how cloth sort of works and this was supposed to be quick and easy and also because I've been watching Yuri on Ice the anime which is about ice skating so it kind of resurfaced that that want may want to draw very fluid and dynamic poses like this and somewhat graceful also but originally, this piece was supposed to be realistic and a close-up of a face from my reference photo, but that would have taken hours for me to finish when I knew I had to record the voiceover, edit this, and then upload it, which takes a lot of time, so I needed something quick and easy to do. Also because I'm currently working on a fan art of Saber from Fate Stay Night, or Grand Order, or that series, and I noticed that my line arts for stuff that are non-Inktober turn out way better than my Inktober stuff. So I wanted to just do line art and just let the line art shine and do its thing by itself. Without the use of markers or gray colors or the determined intense colors. Just line art by itself. I think I did achieve it more or less. Um, even though I feel like it's a lot sketchier than my usual line arts, but it's maybe it's because I just woke up and I'm not really fully awake when I do this. I woke up really late. Uh, my schedule's completely out of whack for today. So, I hope you enjoyed. Please stick, please stick around because I'll be showing all the drawings I did for this video at the end. And yeah. So, day 13 was the day I didn't really feel like drawing and just kind of meh it. Day 14 was when I went hella crazy with the details because I was trying to make up for the day before. 
Day 15 is when I drew my character for a friend. And day 16 is this nice, clean, just line art piece. Follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, or DeviantArt. Maybe like or subscribe if you guys enjoy this. And I'll see you around.